Welcome to Living Agriculture with Yisa Bachibinga Ruigari, a veterinary officer. Now, I thank all those who have endeavored to look for our channel, Living Agriculture. Thank you for liking us. Thank you for viewing and sharing these videos to all the friends and subscribing. Now I have many people, those who are in Europe, who are in Asia, all those for looking for our channel here. As I said before, I'm Ruigare Yisa Bachivinga from Living Agriculture. Today, we are going to look at Pigare Enterprise. Because what you ask us is what we present to you. Because all the videos, all the shows we made before were in the local language. And some were complaining that there are some words we don't understand. So, is it possible to change the language and use the language which is known or understandable by every person. I say the yes. It's no problem and it does not cost you anything. So today, we are going to look at a bigger enterprise. Now, the types. of breeds if you were to go into this enterprise what you need to note first is the breed totagala nabirala ah ah now the first one which is mostly known is what they call large white. But still, we have even the black. The second is landless. Has no other name, but still even you have that black one. The third is Wasex. The fourth, Cambra. The fifth is a Duroc. Cativino. Baby, 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 solo, baby, mwe, baby, mwagalo, kurunda. How can you characterize all the futures of these breeds for identification? Now, large weight, it is large, it is a bit long, but it has the big stiff ears. Big stiff ears. If you come across such, it could be weight, or it could be black, but what you differentiates them, it is about the ears. Biba be asked to cover it. Don't ask me, me Muslim, to be knowing them. I'm a vet. Now, landless, it is still large or big. 
and long. But the ears have the dropping ears. Biba biagwa. Amato. These ears are dropping. The third, it is wasix. This has two colors. Assuming it is in this format. Now, if it is white, it has the black belt here at the front leg. If it is black, it has the white belt here. Awo ya ulira wa sexy fana netia. If it is black, has this chisipi here. If it is white, it has the black. If it is black, it has the white. This is the second. I mean the third. Now the fourth is the Cambra. It is shorter than these ones. Now, its fat, H.H. Godo, is very small. That's why it is the second liked breed for pork. Ganagalalagano, <laughs> they have too much skin, that fat. That's why they are not on the market nowadays. In the exception of the villagers who are who normally like this skin, the chigodo. If you haven't eaten that, it doesn't know that he has eaten pork. But in the urban areas, this is the second. It can produce 8 to 20 piglets. This is small cambra in its shortness. It can be in black, it can be in white, or in black spot. Black and red, black and white. Bonji, that's how it looks. Now, Duroko, it is red in color, has no fat in it, and it's number one liked breed across the world. They are not common here. We have few who have them, and they are expensive. If you don't have enough money, don't call me. I talk with people who have money. One month old, it's 150,000. Don't ask me why. Two months old, it is at 300,000. Now three months old, 400,000. Those don't ask me why. Uh -uh. These are the types of the swine breeds or piggery. Large white, landless, wasex, cambra, and duro. Terry Chikachirala. Maybe your local ones. Obobuta kula due to feeding. But still, you can manage them and add value in feeding. They can be like the duro. As we said before, you are on living agriculture with this regal achieving. Now, we are going to see the common diseases signs and symptoms today because 
we need to equip you with the knowledge and how to prevent such diseases. Number one killer disease, it is called the swine fever, African swine fever. It does not need to add Africa because we are in Africa, Bobaralu, African swine fever. No, no sense. This one has no vaccine, neither the medicine for treating it chemically. This is vaccinated or treated herbally using plants. And being a Muslim, when you call me for swine treatment, you must have enough money. See, you are not money. What is money? Ah, you call me with the money. We work on that. But lack enough, we have the medicine for treating and controlling swine fever. No chemical medicine. For all of those who have the capacity of the screen touches, you go to Google and ask what chemical medicine is it used in treating swine fever. It is not there. It is only we here who have that capacity of treating swine fever. Now, for vaccinating or controlling swine fever, one, Get it by yourself. Two, get it normal cleans. Three, homo detergent. But some people, when I talk of homo, at times you forget. Instead of homo, you buy area. You buy nomi. You, you buy magic. Please, if I say homo, I mean homo, not no me. I have to be very clear about this. You find that somebody is, is standing beside this shell. No. Stabex. It is not every fuel station is a shell. That's why I'm saying if I talk of homo, it is homo. Not erio, not no me. Not magic. If you add these three, this one should be a hundred mils. This one should be a hundred fifty mils. One circuit of five hundred simanyi by the smaller one. When you combine all of these, add in put in twenty liters of water. Spread the entire house of your in and out for the first day. The second day, don't. Then the third day, repeat the same. The fourth day, don't. Then the fifth day, these very measurements add 200 mules of our medicine spread the entire house with your animals inside. You will never see or hear what they call swine fever. Total guarantee ganye. No. This is what you need to do. Buy yourself 100 meals. Noro cleansy, 50 mils. Omo detergent for 500. Put in 20 liters. Spray your entire house of that chick, of your, of your piggery. For the first day. The following day, omit it. Do it the third day. The fourth day, don't. The fifth day, which is the third day. Now, mix with our medicine which is called universal farm care piggery medicine. Put it 200 mils 
fuyire nyumba yoyona now for the younger ones seven days give them 20 meals mukamwa direct mukamwa okuva kunna ku musanvu to one month bwe mu 20 meals mukamwa don't mix with the water one swine fever jakubo mugobye and as i always say we do this for the sake of our country not because of the government, because the government cannot pay us that much, I know. No, but simply we like our community, we like our country. Swine fever have no medicine, chemically. Swine fever has no vaccine, chemically. But we managed it from the plants to discover this medicine, which is used to prevent and control swine fever. So we are proud of that. So whoever is viewing now, you share. Ntebiyale ma government if it were because Because you find even the biggest institution in the whole world have failed to discover and know that swine fever have the treatment. It is only on living agriculture. So time will come, we do it, and we train you and we give you everything. So don't log behind. That is swine fever. Now, the second one is what we call anthrax. Now, anthrax, no, we go back at swine fever. How do you know that there is an outbreak of swine fever? One, shivering, too much fever, high temperature, shivering, loss of appetite, change of color to purple or pink, and death. And if you discover this, your animal should be buried. Bonori and busy around the swine fever. One, you also are going to become sick of that same sickness. Omanyimo ya nyebi busy vita yi de. Have no treatment. If it affects you, you are gone. You bury. Chuchi wede. Anthrax. This is all a viral disease. But the vaccines are there at NTV. But these veterinary officers, I don't know what they are doing, but they, we pay them. We talk of economy, high economy, oh, just useless and innocence. They are heavily facilitated because they have the transport means. Two, they are given allowance. And the vaccine in TV is just rotting there and getting expired. So who is viewing there? If you have the access of talking to these people, let's help the community not to lose their animals due to the negligence of the service providers at the sub-county levels and even at the district. Because it is there, but they are only burnt because they expired. Anthrax can be vaccinated, but it still can be treated. But how? It depends on where you are. That's what you need to know. I'm Isa, but I understand what pigare is. I don't eat it, but if it comes to treating it, I do. Because if somebody pays me, I don't ask where have this money been got to or from. So we are entitled to give the message to every person who can benefit in that. It does not make sense to be, to be lamenting. Stupid. You are poor with who? 
you say I'm poor because I don't want to work. You start with only two at 600,000. Either Duroko or Cambra. Within a period of one year, you must be having over 100. And why should you keep on lamenting as you are poor? That the, all the information you are getting from us, at no cost, you are paying. But the only thing is to load the data, subscribe, view whatever you want. There is no way you can get this information. No way. Even in Naro, even at the research, they cannot give you this knowledge. But we came out to serve and save the lives of animals. Anthrax, this is sign and symptom. The bleeding from the nose, bleeding from the ears, bleeding from the mouth, and the death. Lucky enough, the vaccines are there in Entebbe. And the medicine for treating this is there. But it is very unfortunate to start treating it when there is no recovery and you slaughter and sell to the community to eat. That's the cause of cancer. So I'm, co I'm appealing to whoever is viewing living agriculture that this herbal medicine is available in only us. We deliver. And we don't give to these outlets because we know what, we, what they do. If you to be a gala, and don't, it, don't ask Brian that in which shops do you sell your medicine? It is always and only at our offices. Nowhere else. That is anthrax. Then we have what we call the swine pox. Kawari. This disease can be vaccinated against at day one or in a period of seven days. But still, it can be treated. If you are locked in the chemical medicine, the best medicine to cure that, it is called the gentamicin. Gentamicin 5%, it is injectable. Jikube Mpiso, it will cure if you did not cure, I mean if you did not vaccinate it. And if you come to ours here, it is an oro. Ojiwaku nyuabu nyui. Only once this goes away, the swine pox. It has the skin rash. It has wounds. You shall see as we go on. It can be vaccinated, but all it can be treated. That is swine pox. Then we have the coccidiosis. Coccidiosis, this is the diarrhea. The blood diarrhea. In chicken, rabbits, and livestock. It can be treated and it can be prevented. The best means of preventing coccidiosis use IMO in wherever you are using or wherever you are constructing. And if you are not going to use IMO, make sure every day you wash the place. Every morning, wash it. But if you are going to use this IMO, you don't need to wash it. 
neither to change the litter inside the there. It may take even six to eight months without changing it. But for this plain cemented, it is a must that every day you clean. But even your neighbors will feel the smell of this cemented ones. So, we can control that. Let your neighbor hear them when you have not fed them. But if you have given them feeds, they can keep quiet. These are the most humble animals to manage. You get me? That's emo. Cosidiosis is caused by poor hygiene and feeding. These animals, they always need a clean place or a clean environment. And some people say, what causes them to smell? What causes them to eat a lot? But what you feed them, it is not what they are supposed to be fed. Don't tell me that only one can feed 10 kilograms. It is not there. The mature one does not exceed 3 kilograms. No. Unless when it is feeding, breast feeding. And even if it, is, it has the piglets, it does not exceed 6 kilograms. No. Nayamu was a Zirianyo. If you call, if you think that is Zirianyo, detooth them, remove all the teeth and they stop eating. So it depends on how you feed them and what are you feeding them. But they can be controlled. You can feed them using the exotic feeds. What are they? Maize bran, concentrate, lime, bichevio, mokene. If not that, you can use locally greens, the banana, the sweet potato leaves, even the grass itself. If not that, feed them using cooked food. You can mingle posho. It depends on the way how you want to feed them. So that's coccidiosis. Is it preventable and it is treatable? If it persists when you are locked in the exotic or the chemical medicine, use amproline or amprolium. Don't use amprosulfur. Always the best medicine should be from German, from Belgium, from Holland, and Netherlands, more so UK. The rest, don't ask me. Don't. Those are my recommendations. I have no partnership with them, but I know what they do. That's considiosis. Now, we have what we call the foot root. This happens because where they stay, it is not properly made. There is mud, there is holes, so they are affected. And if you come across this, use the pen strip. But never inject your animal when it is conceived. It will abort. This one should not be used at the conceived animal. They and then it will abort. If not this one, you can use 
tetrasaikirini twenty five percent injectable it will work to treat this and it is done this is caused by poor hygiene at the surface and if it is clean totawana do it there it will be done then we have brucella brucellosis what is this and what does it cause this one there is too much temperature inside the stomach it will not conceive it will abort always and deliver dead or premature piglets or any other animals it is due to this but still the vaccine is there in entebbe but who is to bring this medicine and who is to help the farmers there, the innocent farmers? So, it can be treated in human beings, in ladies. They also have that same disease. Whereby, if you fail to be treated, Mubantu ba muita nabuguma. It is due to this. Now in the animals, it is brucella. And it is, this is the most dangerous disease which affects even a human being rapidly through milk and unboiled red meat. Once you eat the meat which had this sickness and has still blood in it, it will take you three days to get affected of this. And to treat this brucella in a human being, it is so costly. Cut me no more game before. And it. We have what we call the black quota. This is the disease which leads them to have wounds on the skin. What you do if you are to use the chemical by trinil? It's a circuit. Mix in 10 liters of water, 10 mils of water. Inject in the skin. Could it be rabbits? Could it be goats? Could it be pigs? Could it be cows? you are going to overcome such nonsense. Because, as I said it before, our reason of coming on this channel is to equip you with the knowledge, the skill, and the technical service. There is no way you can get such information without being asked, to where is your center to Kuburire? And if somebody asks you money for the consultation, you must have a question mark about what is going to tell you. I'm very sure and confident that since you started watching our videos, nobody has ever asked you to send money for consultation. 
Could it be Brian himself? Could it be the sister? Could it be me, myself? What you do is to text or call. And we exchange the ideas. So, with that, I know one time, one day, if all goes well, we may say that we are going to make our own live TV studio. And if it will come to that and we say that we are looking for sponsorship to start out our television for only that, but for the time being, let's just acquire knowledge on living a good culture here. At the cost of the data, liking and subscribing. Echo nama mchimanyi mwabali yeyo. Teri yo mtu asobola kuga ambabi no. Teri, it's only here. Right from the start. And we are honest about that. Now, for that treatment, it is done. We talked about swine fever, we finished that. We talked about anthrax, we finished that. We talked about swine, uh, swine pox, we finished it. We talked about coccidiosis, we finished it. About foot root, we finished. About brucella, we finished. About the, uh, what was the last? The black quarter, done. Now we are going to look at worms. Now these worms, these are intestinal worms. We have what we call the gap worms. But normally are called the lung worms. And the intestinal worms. Honestly, these intestinal worms and the gap worms, all younger worms, how do you notice that your animal have these worms? One is coughing. <coughs> you see, when you hear that, automatically you should know your animals are affected with worms. And how do you control this? It is by deworming them every three to four months. But still it depends. How are you feeding them? If you are just getting leftovers from somewhere and they have overstayed there and you bring and you simply feed them already, you will be done and gone. We can control them. And stop feeding your pigs with fresh uh, sweet potatoes. There are some worms, pests inside. And once they eat them with their pests inside, they nenjoko jakubozi tomede. My dear sisters, my dear brothers, my dear sons, my dear parents, the reason why you have chosen to be on living agriculture, this is the source of information. This is the source of skill. This is the source of presentation where you need not to regret. Because what we need to share with you is to empower you in managing your own farm. We come in when the first aid have failed. Gap worm, tape worm, gap worms here. These affect the lungs. They start coughing. And the intestinal worms, their intestines, but all in all, they start coughing. And they have the stiff skin. 
once you start seeing that, that will mean that the worms have affected your animals. So for that, it can be controlled. And if you were to be using the chemical medicine, use intermectin. Intermectin or Ivermectin or Vermectin. Somebody may ask why. Now, I repeat, if you were to be choosing the best medicine for treating your animals, what should be in the, your brain? First, ask for German trademark. German. Belgium. Holland. UK. These four are the most powerful countries in making all medicines. Could it be for human? Could it be for animals? You should not go into the cheaper medicines simply because in Oriara you see. That's madness. Because if somebody tells you that intermectin, it is at 28,000. And there is vermectin at 12,000. Stupidly, somebody will rush with this one of 12,000. Not knowing that the percentage of this is not the same as this one. And even if we are going to buy other medicines, there is that one of 5%, 10%, 20%. more bigger percentage, the more powerful it does. To vem malala, mwagala nye biara yisi. Ha, I cannot buy that one of 28 when there is that one of 12. Olimularu. Uh, we don't want that. You need to be empowered. Get the right medicine, however expensive it may be. And somebody should not tell you that if you are treating an animal, you should treat it for three days. Doing what? It is a one treatment. It is enough, depending on the, on the, on, on the medicine you are using. But if you use this cheaper one, will tell you, or whatever, 10 meals. Then I come back at tomorrow, 10 meals. Then the third day, 10 meals. That veterinary officer is stupid. And I don't regret. Depending, and you should not simply go and treat these animals without taking the clinical signs and the samples of which all of these diseases, their clinical signs are known. And if you're a veterinary officer, you are watching, simply send the money we have that booklet, which contains every knowledge you need. Eche chitabo tu chirina, echiri muendu wade, the signs, symptoms, that book we have it. And it contains everything in a poultry, in a rabbit, in a piggery, and other livestock. The signs, because when we talk of the common diseases, it contains the clinical signs, the cause, transmission, the treatment, and the control. In that very book, Sokati, it is upon you. Because what contains being a vet, 
or a service provider is just the consultation where you see that you have failed to move. We share the knowledge. Tobe area yo mabega no gamba biaganye. Don't share us who know what we are doing. Just call and say, Muna, I have a case, but I have failed to handle it. We shall share 